All right, today's project is I'm going to build some sideboards. I have uh, this dump trailer that is, in my opinion, awesome. I love the thing. But I load it up with construction debris. Like right now, I have one full bathroom in here and it kind of fills it up. Now granted, it's not stacked in here all that great. Yes, I could break stuff down a little better, but it's a full bathroom and Basically the trailer is full. I might be able to get like a quarter of it emptied if I consolidated it. But I like to uh, get multiple jobs into it before I bring it to the dump because there's a minimum fee for the dump and whatnot. And I mean, there's, I don't know, maybe at most one ton. So 2000 pounds in the trailer right now. It's a 10,000 pound trailer. It can easily handle more. So I think I'm gonna build some sideboards about another um, 18 inches tall so I can stack some more stuff in there. I don't want to go too tall because I don't want to be fighting to actually throw stuff over it and everything. And it's also used for, the trailer is used for like gravel and stone, dirt, firewood. So I'm going to be able to make them so they're removable. They're going to be sitting in some stakes that go into these stake pockets. And then I have, I chose to do composite decking boards. That way I didn't have to deal with any type of rot on the decking and also splinters. One of my old trailers, I used to get splinters and rotted boards all the time, so spent the extra couple bucks, and it wasn't that bad. It was, for a 12-foot pressure-treated board, it was 14 bucks. For the 12-foot composite board, it was 19 bucks, so I figured it'd be worth it. Everything else is the same. The pressure-treated 2x4s for the stakes, I can't make out of composite. I don't have any type of composite lumber for that, but me to say, I'm going to uh, make some sides for this. I'm not gonna do anything with the back. I'm just gonna make two sides and one front board that is gonna go across here to keep everything in. And then the tarp will hold everything in the back. All right, it's gonna be a lot of uh, time lapse, but it should be cool. All right, I'm going to be cutting these pressure treated two by fours to fit into these stake pockets. I haven't actually measured to see if they'll fit, but they should. It's an inch and a half by three and three quarters. So two by four is three and a half by one and a half. So I should fit no problem. But my plan is I'm gonna have the sideboards come up three boards high whatever that measurement is. I'm gonna measure it over there in a second. But I'm gonna cut these, whatever those three boards are, plus at least eight inches, I'm thinking maybe 12 inches, to get recessed into the stake pocket to hold it from wobbling and shaking. So if I have these over here, I need both hands for this. If I have all these tight together and I measure, I get 15 and three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this 15 and three quarters plus 12 inches. I'm not gonna do the math for that right now. 12 inches, that makes my overall piece 20, 28 and three quarter, or 27 and three quarters of an inch. So I'll have that and I'm gonna cut them all for all the stakes and then stick them in. Right now they're just gonna fall straight through, straight through because it is open-ended. But when I go to actually do everything I need to, I'll clamp them in place and then screw on as I need to. Yep, I'll just cut all these down. Hopefully I have enough. I don't think I got enough. Eh, we'll see.
All right, I just went ran one two by four through every pocket to see how they fit. And all but three of them are good. This one has a dent in it. So that's gonna require a little force of persuasion. Just beat that back out so this will fit in. But they're supposed to fit like this. Perfect. Up here is the other two that are a little bit of an issue. So these sides are removable, the metal. It, it'll turn into a flatbed trailer. And to hold it together, you have this bolt right in here. So I am going to, instead of having a full two by four in this pocket, I'm gonna notch it um, where it goes in. So I have to notch about half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch off of this by about 12 inches long. That way I still have a lot of meat in here and a lot of meat above it. And I clear that, that uh, bolt that's in there. That corner over there is the same way. So just do two of these like that. Oh yeah, and I did have enough two by four. I have enough for two more scraps or two more chunks if I have to, but I shouldn't need it. All right, just like that, these now work. Real basic, easy. Benefit of working on a dump trailer while you're next to a dump trailer. You can fill it with all your scraps. All right, I'm just gonna give that a little force of persuasion down there and we'll get to it. Well, wood doesn't work, it just splits it. Too far. There. Perfect. I'm working alone on this, so I need some way of holding these boards in while I screw the uh, decking onto the sides. So I'm going to try and see what I can do about just setting a screw in so the screw catches the steel and stops it from sliding all the way in. And I'm going to set that screw at 12 and a half inches. And the reason I'm going 12 and a half inches, even though I just said I wanted 12 inches in the pocket, I'm kind of thinking that once I put the decking boards on here, here, and here, I want the decking to overhang the top just like a half inch or so so I don't see this sticking out and if I'm putting tarps on and whatnot it doesn't catch. So I'm just using these screws and stoppers to hold them in place and let's see if it works. It should. This one goes right here and the screw just stops right there. That way it holds it the uh, 15 I needed 15 and 3 quarter for the boards. I have 15 and 1 quarter. That way I have that half inch. Perfect. I'm going to go around and do all those. All right, so there's all the stakes in it. Now the next step is to set up the boards. I'm going to run the boards on the inside of here. That way any type of material or whatever doesn't catch the stakes when it's trying to slide out. But to do that, this is going to be a little difficult because I'm going to be doing it alone, like I said. I'm going to get some quick grips to try and hold it in place. At least that's the theory. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. All right, so the decking that I got has this groove on the underside of it. And then 
as the nice decking face on this. I just got the cheapest stuff I could. But I don't know if it's gonna work like that because I have carriage bolts that I'm gonna be holding everything on with. And I'm not sure the carriage bolts will grip that corrugated, I guess you could say, surface when I drill the holes through. Basically, it's going to go like that. And what if it happens to fall in a void? I don't think it'll be good. So I might have to run the grooved face out and the textured face in. Heh. That might look a little weird. But on the inside, you'll have the carriage bolt like that. And I guess, I mean, it's a smoother surface, so stuff's not going to catch it sliding out as long as the outside looks uniform i think it'll be all right and it's a dump trailer honestly who really cares what it looks like oh yeah i didn't mention so yeah i got these carriage bolts i'm going to be drilling through the board and through the stake into this this face right here and bolting them together um that's how they're going to attach i'm going to do two two in every board and every stake so there'll be one right there, one right there, except it'll actually be this way because the nut and washer will be on this side and the carriage bolt will be on the other side. But yeah. Let's flip this around. All right, just like that. So right now I don't have the carriage bolt completely in because the square head on the inside has to get dimpled into the composite so it doesn't to spin but even at that that's only going to make that bolt flush and i did that intentionally because i want to be able to um have the bolts and the nuts recessed inside of these so i don't when you go down the side of it i don't have a, a bolt sticking out that can catch something or tear a tarp or me i'd cut my arm or shoulder or whatever i'd catch something on it and cut myself with it so now i have to go through that back out take that back out I just drilled the one hole I'm gonna go through with a spade bit after I drill all the holes and just make a little recessed pocket for the washer and the nut to fit inside of probably about a half inch deep that's all and then they'll all be recessed perfect I'm gonna go through and do that now All right, there's the first board on there. Now I gotta do two more on this side, three on the other, three on the front, a whole lot more drilling. So it's just gonna be a long time lapse. Maybe if I figure out how to put music into it right now, I will. I've been having a hard time figuring that out. I had to stop the time lapse for a minute, but it's January 18th, I think. What's today's date? January 16th today. So it's the middle of winter. And ignore the cars right now, but it sounds like spring. There's like birds chirping and everything going wild. It actually, it's overcast. And I swear I'm hearing thunder like a low roar or rumble of thunder constantly. Now I live not downtown, but on the outskirts of town, so I do hear a train and whatnot, but this isn't the train because it's coming from all around me. I don't know if it's even gonna show up on the video. But, middle of winter, and it's basically acting like spring. Welcome to New England.
All right, there it is. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's the underside of the decking, but it still looks uniform and good. I know my holes aren't perfectly in a line. These, they're just free-handed. So I know people can do better and some people might critique it, but whatever, it's a dump trailer. Some of these actually aren't even perfectly square. I tried to keep them as square as possible just because sliding in and out, if it's crooked sideways like this, it's gonna fight the pocket, but it's good. It would be nice if I was able to get that face out because that does look really sleek, especially with the uh, the carriage bolt heads in there. But this brand decking, they have the hollow backs, this. I'm not fond of it. I mean, for a dump trailer for sideboards, it's perfectly fine, but I'll never install it on an actual deck. That's a side note, but yeah, it's only rated for 100 pounds per square foot, which is very low considering, say your average grown adult male man is 200 pounds. If they step all their weight on one foot, they're exceeding that 100 pounds a square foot. But yeah, if I had a solid core, if I wanted to spend the money on a solid core one without these ribs on it, I could have faced this out so the texture was out. I have some of that scrap over here. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is solid core. It doesn't have any grooves on the bottom right here. It still has the texture up here. These grooves on the sides are for hidden fasteners and decking. So it doesn't really matter if it has that or not for sideboards, but I would have preferred solid core. All oh, this is uh, stuff that I need to be using for other stuff. So I didn't use that on the trailer, but yeah. The price difference between that, a 12 foot of that type of material, that specific brand is about $110, $120, where this was, I think I said earlier, $19, $19.50 for a 12 foot board, so significantly cheaper. I'm not gonna put real expensive stuff on here that's just gonna get beat up by trash. But yeah, I'm gonna clean up some, I'm gonna throw the tarp back on it, and uh, I got a solar battery tender for it. So I'm going to clean up this area, but I'm going to mount the solar charger on here, battery tender on here. So I'm going to figure out how to do that. All right, here it is. I got the tarp on, all the sideboards on. I got the solar charger on. I didn't record any of that. I'm not an electrician. I didn't want to get made fun of too bad. It's, it works, but yeah, actual electricians, which my buddies, they'll make fun of me when they see it <laughs> oh well but yeah works out good can't wait to start using it let's go around the back show you how much more space it actually gives the tarp right now i won't even focus it's too dark but the tarp is sagging in which is a good thing that means i have plenty of space to fill up awesome Alrighty, on to the next